We just finished testing the Cruiser Sport Series 328. Now this is the new flagship of the Sport Series and this thing is a beast. It's a big bow rider. It's powered by a twin uh, Volvo Penta 320 horsepower V8s and this thing really gets up and goes. It starts playing it off in 3.9 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 8.3 seconds with a top speed of 50.8 miles an hour which this thing feels like a giant uh, ski boat, I'll, I'll be honest. It just very nimble handling and it's just really easy to drive. Now one of the things this thing really does well, my cameraman Todd will hang on, this thing really turns well. So you drop a skier back here, no worries. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Well, John Cruiser's yachts turned 60 this year. Looks like you gave yourselves quite a birthday present with this boat. What, yeah, are, we, we, what are we sitting on here? Uh, what we're on today is the new 328 uh, Cruiser Sport Series, and uh, we just introduced it this past July. Uh, this is the flagship of the Sport Series segment. Now, what what have you taken from building great yachts for years? Sure. And all of a sudden, you're building trailerable sports boats. Yeah. Uh, what have what have you transferred there? Well, what our goal there was is we wanted to uh, have the ability to get into a customer base at a smaller uh, trailerable runabout product, and um, by investing in that, um, we now have uh, a lineup of of the Sport Series, which includes bow riders, cutties, and a small express. Well, I was looking up at the uh, windlass there. W what do we have going on there? Yeah, what you have here is, well, um, again, keeping with our yacht uh, mentality, is we recess the windlass in this 32-footer. It's, um, it's an option. Uh, the anchor is through the hull. Um, again, keeping the profile low. Aesthetically, it's pleasing. It's safe. Now tell me about the upholstery here. What do we have going on? Yeah, what you've got here is a combination of two materials. Um, the red and black and silver materials are uh, consist of a material that's called silver tex, and then that is uh, tied into a white uh, vinyl. And beneath that is a foam that is called a dry fast foam, so that uh, any moisture that the seats take. Uh, that that moisture can get through the foam quickly and dry quickly and the neat thing about it is is once that moisture gets to the bottom of the cushion that all of the seat bases have a water trough in them so that the water can self drain away from the bottom of the cushion. Nice. Yeah. Let's take a look at the cockpit and see what we have going on there. Absolutely. Well, John, I thought you said this is a bow rider. <laughs> This looks like a cabin cruiser down here. It is. It is a cabin cruiser. Again, um, with having some time to take a look at what was already in market, uh, we we thought we saw an opportunity to um, bring a one area lower cabin living space um, into this 32, and by doing that. We pushed the walkway to your bow bucket all the way to port, keeping your cabin entry uh, door on center line. Um, and by doing that, now we've created a, a uh, lower cabin uh, area where you've got U-shaped seating. This also has a pull-out um, cushion, um, which actually slides right out from underneath here, so you don't you don't have any filler cushions to worry about. It can make into a berth. Nice. Uh, down here, you've got a refrigerator your AC-DC panel, you've got natural ventilation with a porthole to the port side. John, what do we have going on at the helm here? Well, this is this was a, a, a lot of time spent in figuring out how we wanted to ergonomically uh, address up the helm, all the way from the silver tex um, and top stitch red uh, stitching that, that calls attention to detail to your gauge cluster. And the important thing was is to get a nine inch display uh, for your Navionics um, treatments. And then the way this boat is equipped is we've got your joystick here. Uh, again, from an ergonomic standpoint, it's it, you can reach it easy. And then in front of it is your joystick. So in a stern drive um, configuration, you have the option to go to joystick uh, in either the Mercs or the Volvos. We have a double wide helm seat. We have a double wide companion seat. Both have flip down armrests. Both have flip up bolsters so that you can uh, fix your position uh, depending on how you want to sit. The neat thing about this, these two configurations is not only is this helm seat just a helm facing forward, 
but we also we have it on a uh, on a track system that allows you to swing it inboard uh, so that you can see and visit with the people on the companion side on the port side or take both the companion and the helm seats and flip them all the way aft joining the folks in the aft part of the cockpit let's see how that works out absolutely well this is really amazing you know you've kind of replicated what you had up front with a conversation pit now now the people back here could be talking about the people up front. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, we wanted to uh, make sure that we had two areas uh, for separate things happening. One is people forward could be comfortable and have their own uh, entertaining happening up there. And then, and then back here in the cockpit, the purpose was is to take again your typically your fixed seating forward and be able to join it into your cockpit seating and folks that are on your uh, sun lounge and the transom. Because this is this is really where a lot of a lot of your time is spent right here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, John, this is probably one of the most well thought out sun pads I've ever seen. You have lots going on here. Yeah. Again, back to where where do people want to spend their time on a bow rider? And because this is a, a ten six or a 10 foot 6 inch beam boat, what we're able to do is provide the largest sun pad, sun lounging area in its class. It's 5 foot 4 inches wide by 6 feet long. And not only is it is that the, the surface area and the size of it, but what we've done is we've incorporated four backrests, individual backrests, so that you can have people facing either all aft, you can have people facing all forward, or you can split the cushions like you and I have done here, and you can have conversation uh, face to face. And at the same time, you've got uh, drink holders in place, a remote stereo system back here. Um, again, uh, it's all about comfort and uh, versatility. Yeah, I like that. So both of all of these come up. And yep, the, that one comes up. This one here comes up. And uh, again, just uh, the ability for uh, flexibility and comfort. You definitely nailed it. For more information on the Cruiser Sports Series 328 and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.